Hello there, everybody. Don Evans here from WatchReport.com, and today we're going to be doing another video review. This time, the Brera Orology Eterna 2 Chrono. This version is the version in the Gunmetal IP with an olive green dial and a matching olive green strap. Now I'm doing this video a little bit different than I normally do. Usually I do the video before I write the written. Um, I've writ the I've wrote the written review, excuse me. So I go into a lot of detail in the written review uh, about the uh, the dial, the case, the hands, and and my overall feelings with it. But wanted to give a good look here in the video review point out a couple of things and uh, show you the best look at it possible. This is a look at it on my seven and a half inch wrist. Let's go over to specs here real quick. You have a 43 millimeter case, which is a nice size from a company like Brera Orology, who usually um, has done much larger pieces, you know, 44, 45, 46 millimeters and up. You have a Ronda 5030D chronograph movement. You have a sapphire crystal. It is just about 50 millimeters, a little over 50 millimeters lug to lug. And you have a 22 millimeter lug width and strap. Strap tapers down to about 20 millimeters. So let me take the watch off here and give you a better look at the dial and the case and all of its features. Now there are four variations of this model, uh, four different color combinations I should say. And this one, as I said, is the gunmetal PVD. There is a bunch of different finishes going on here as well. You're going to see that the case itself, the actual case, is sandblasted PVD, gray PVD. The upper outer bezel here is done in a brushed finishing with the knurled outer edge that matches the crowns. You'll see polishing on the crown here. And then the pushers are high polished. Moving around to the case back, you have the same amount of finishes going on. You have high polished with the logo engraved. You have brushed and you have your sandblasted as well. Great looking case back. This is water resistant to a hundred meters. It does utilize a screw down crown. The pushers are not, the pushers are just standard. Ah, I was wrong. The pushers are screw down as well. I don't know why I thought that they were not. Possibly could have been another watch um, that I'm reviewing and I was just confusing. Uh, the two of them, but there is your chronograph, get this uh, restarted here, stop, reset, there we go, so we'll screw these back down, but these screw down pretty good too, nice and tight, but they're easy to screw down. As I said, this is a screw down crown. Now you see, you also have the date down in the sub dial register for the hour for the chronograph. The date is a little on the small side, I would have liked to seen the cutout be just a touch bigger. Screw this back down here real quick. 
screws down very easily. It's a very, very smooth working crown. So now, one of the biggest parts of this watch, and I apologize if I had not stated the price yet, which is $850. Now I know some might be thinking, well, we got $850 for a Ronda 5030D. And I understand that. But take a look at all the work that's gone into the dial here. You have two different textures for the dial. You got a matte finish for the upper dial and that aggressive texture on the bottom portion here. You have the multiple colors going on here. You are applied very large steel markers. Now, as you can see, the only loom that is applied here are to the hour, minute, and second hands and the subs, uh, the subdial register hands. And uh, you'll see the full uh, loom shot on uh, watchreport.com. It is, uh, you know, the hands glow very well. The register hands do not glow very well at all because basically, as you can see, it's just an outline or a skeletonized uh application of loom the hands do glow very well but I would have liked to seen maybe if these uh, applied markers are maybe just a little bit shorter and then you know that way it would have allowed for um, maybe some loom hour marker dots on the back edge on the outer edge here of the dial but it really is a beautiful dial a lot of work that you could see has gone into this dial. It's definitely a multi-piece dial with the uh, crown of registers and the uh, outer section of the dial and the uh, applied markers. Now another uh, nice feature of the Eterna Chrono 2 is this combination olive suede which is very very nice and soft to the touch and you have your white stitching you have your orange rubber seal here on the sides on the edges but then the underneath is a gray natural rubber it's, uh, lightly textured And not only is it a unique looking strap, it is extremely comfortable and it should allow uh, the strap to wear a lot longer. You know, anytime you wear anything, uh, if this had a suede backing or a leather backing, you know, everybody knows this. You wear this out, especially in any kind of hot weather, you know, it's going to get sweaty and it could stain, uh, you know, the suede or the leather and uh, that wears on the strap. This should make the strap... Um, you know, wear a lot longer, look a lot newer longer. You have your two keepers, and you have your gunmetal buckle that is signed Brera. As I said, there are a couple of different variations. Uh, there is a stainless steel and black dial there is, um, that I believe the uh, has red accents in it. You have a white dial version, and uh, one of the other standout models uh, to me was a stainless steel and rose gold combination, which had a rose gold bezel and crowns, I believe, and then some accents on the dial. Uh, really just a striking kind of, you know, chronograph dress type watch uh, in that particular variation. This is more, you know, your subdued variation, your more, uh, you know, casual military slash field uh you know color combination that you have here i really like the look of this which is why i chose uh, this particular color combo to uh, review i hope you liked your look at the briera orology eterna 2 chrono check watch report out on social media we're on instagram twitter and facebook leave a like or a comment here on youtube Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't. You'll never miss another video review. This has been Don Evans for WatchReport.com. 
and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much.